Hey yo, Tut. Hey, 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 What up, though? It's your boy, Detroit Dave. And I'm back with another one. This is the video that everybody loves every year, every time. Now, before I get into that briefly, you just saw how successful of a year 2015 was. Anytime people pre-order with me, they always get their sneaker. I only had to refund one customer this year, and that was because initially I only got five shatter backboards instead of six. So I had to shoot one guy's money back. But as you can see, I do get sneakers all the time. And so I'm hoping that 2016 will be the same. All you guys got to do is pre-order. That's it. It's a lot of heat coming up in these next couple of months. It's starting off with today. The fours dropped. You know, and I had, you know, I had a couple pairs of those for people. 
We got the Radio Raheem 2s next week. Next month, we got... Uh, oh, and I might have a special treat at the end of the month. I'm not sure. I might have one or two pairs of something real nice at the end of this month, too. Um, and then, of course, in February, you got the... Uh, the 99 Nike Air is coming back out. You know what I'm saying? And then you got a bunch of 12s starting in February. A bunch of 12s dropping. Uh, and I will have quite a few of those. So my first quarter cops of this year is going to be quite nice as well. A lot better than the first quarter cops from last year. So I appreciate you for sitting through that intro and just watching what I do. I really just put it out so people can see what I'm doing out here. You know? I definitely appreciate everybody watching. I want to wish you a happy new year. And this is the OG Kings fourth quarter cops. This is the first video of the new year. And I got, um, I actually got a treat for y'all this month. This month is going to be a little bit different, but I'll get into that towards the end of the video. So normally I start from over here, but this time I'm going to start from over here and start with one of the best releases of the year. This made my top five, and we're, we're going to get into exactly what my top sneakers are. That's one of the videos coming up. We'll talk about that a little bit later. 7210 Air Jordan 11s. I mean, what, what really do, is there to say about this sneaker? Um, that hasn't already been said or that's not obvious. I mean, I pulled these out. <sighs> I pulled these out and, um, I looked at them and just like I saw in the pictures, man, I love, I love this leather. I like the way it looks. I like the sparkliness of the patent leather. I like the way you can actually see the full grain leather up under the patent leather. I mean, it's just a great sneaker, man. This one is going to be very durable. I like the stitch stand 23 in the back. I thought that was a nice touch. The inner sock liner is like a very, very nice suede felt material. Real nice. Just, just great execution, I feel, uh, for the Holiday 11 release. I thought we was going to get them red joints too because they did so many date changes and all that, but we didn't. They might be coming out uh, this year. Not sure. But whenever they do come out, you know your boy doing pre-orders. I'll take care of you. Next is the Aqua 8. Now this one, um, some aspects are more like the OG. One thing I noticed that I did not care for was the blue on here. Now, looking right here, it looks like the blue on the Aquas is the same color as the blue on the CP3s. Which means it's more of like a Carolina. You know, a light blue. As opposed to that aqua blue. Um, I don't mind the sparkles at all. It's close to the, closer to the OG. The, uh, the back being more gray than they were on the 07 release is more like the OG. And of course, the OG insoles. So, you know, overall, they did a nice execution, but I'm really not happy, as happy as I thought I would be with these Aquas. Um, like I said, one thing is the color, and then these straps are flimsy as shit, man. Like, if you own a pair of eights, you know that eight strap pretty much stand up on its own. You know what I'm saying? But these straps is weak as fuck, man. Like, they just not the same quality as they were before, which is kind of ironic. With 2015 being the year of the remastered um, remastered Jordan line. So, you know. But it is what it is. They the Aquas that I got. I'm not really interested in trying to search for the older ones. I got them. I'll rock them. You know what I'm saying? When I rock them. And it is what it is. So, second pickup in fourth quarter is going to be the Aquas. And these are not in chronological order also. Um... You know, because obviously the 7210 was first, but that came out a couple weeks ago. So, and then you have the Chris Paul, which this sneaker made out to be super limited, 
but then I found out that more and more people had them. You know what I'm saying? I definitely did pre-orders on these. And got a lot of people, uh, as you saw, got a lot of people pairs. So I'm happy I was able to uh, assist people get pairs. Overall, I think it's a nice PE. Um, I know y'all are going y'all are going to crucify me on YouTube, but value aside, as far as the look, I like these much better than the Ray Allen PEs. Um, I know everybody's going to think I'm crazy, and I think a lot of times people just like shit because it is expensive or it is limited. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I fell into some shit like that myself. You know, it happens to us. Sometimes we turn into hype beast, and we like it because it's hyped up. Um, but this sneaker I actually like. I decided to go ahead and keep a pair. Um, I really like sneakers that have a different color midsole than the outsole. If it has a different color up under the bottom that just is only on the bottom, I really like that type of look. It always has been something that caught my eye. Um, you know, way back in high school when they was dropping Air Force Ones, that would be the midsole would be white and the undersole would be black. That always something that caught my eye. So, you know, um, the quality, I like I like the uh, the thick suede. It's very, very soft. Um, it reminds me of the Toro 5. Um, as far as the type of suede that they got, I think it's definitely a nice sneaker. And uh, like I said, I like it a lot. I like it better than the Ray Allen PE. That white and green just didn't do it for me. But these, you know, I think this is a nice sneaker. And I will put it on foot. Uh, all these up to this point, RDS. Now we're going to start getting into some worn stuff. Now this is one of the biggest steals that I got of the year. Air Jordan 29. This is the only 29 I ever wanted. When I first saw this one, I said I like it. I like the Jumbo Jumpman on the side being in orange. I like the orange 23. Um, it's a very simple shoe, very lightweight too. I don't know if you guys have held a pair of 29s. If you got the Pantone pack, then obviously you have a pair. I don't care for the 29 as a model, but this particular sneaker, I just liked it. I was the same way with the 28s. The only 28 that I actually liked and wanted was the first one that came out, which was um black and like a neon green, electro lime or whatever you call it. So I just thought that that silhouette of the Jumpman, the Jumbo Jumpman on the side was just dope. I really liked that concept. But this was the only colorway that I liked. So, um, you know, and these have been worn. These shits are nice and yellow. But like I say, I got them for a steal. You know, so that'll be something I just throw on, rock around. I got sneakers I ball in, so I, I don't plan on balling in them, but. You know, it's just a sneaker I could rock around when I'm running around doing some stuff. Just throw on a quick little orange tee. Or even a black tee. Black on black and be out. This sneaker is also worn. I wore it uh, one time. And that was on release day for these. I went uh, and picked these up. Uh, several pair of those. Went and picked those up. Uh, rocking these. Um, like I said before in my Dornberger collection video, which was the video I dropped uh, for November, um, it's a very polarizing sneaker. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Overall, I like it. Is it the best Dornberger? Shit, no. But it is a nice Dornberger. I like the concept. Um, I wish they could have went a little bit smaller on the scales, but the detail on the scales, though, I think is very nice. Um, and once again, it's got that different color outsole compared to the midsole so you know overall i'm happy with it plus it's the only air jordan 13 with ice on the sole as well um for only Dorn becker to come in a new box only Dorn becker jordan uh so you know overall i'm happy with that i like the detailing on the insole as well thought it was pretty cool so there you have the db13 um, I actually picked these up off the trade. Now, the Pinnacle collection is brand new. Um, something they started last year. Uh, they dropped four models from the Pinnacle series. Um, I would say it's similar to the Ben series as far as using premium materials, uh, premium quality, and just giving you a little bit extra um, for that price. Now, of course, the whole Ben series was $175 and these were $400, but... 
um, nevertheless, you know, um, I, t I look at it as the same kind of line. Um, so here's the card that kind of uh, explains what they were doing with the one and, and, and all that. So, you know, and then, um, like I said, there were four of them. The first two were Stingray. Uh, the first one was black Stingray with 24 karat gold accents. The second one was white or cream Stingray, similar to what you see on the um, OVO 10. Uh, also with 24 karat gold accents. The third pair was the Vachetta Tan which did not have any gold accents whatsoever. And then the last pair are these Crocs, which I think, I personally think are the best ones. Um, I actually had Ben tools in the past. Um, traded, traded Ben tools to get tans. I traded Ben tools along with something else that we'll get into very soon um, to get tans. And when I say that this leather is right on par with the Ben tool, I mean, you can see that full grain. You can tell this is authentic leather. Like this is like, I don't know if I don't know if uh, y'all had them in y'all area, but I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and we was big on uh, Pelly Pelly jackets um, back in the late '90s, early 2000s. Um, and then we also got another brand that's Detroit born and raised called Al Wasam. You guys might not know nothing about that, but the Pelly coats, man, this is the type of leather they had on there. I mean, you could just see it. Very, very beautiful sneaker. It came in this luxurious dust bag. And um, they're dead stock, so I didn't pull the other one out. The other one's in a dust bag. But um, overall, I think it's a very, very, very nice sneaker. Um, I actually ended up selling my Cinder 14s, which is the white and brown joints that dropped in 2005. Um, so I needed another brown sneaker. And when I uh, was faced with that trade, I went ahead and took it. I really think this is a nice shoe. And I do plan on undead stocking these this year also came with the uh i don't really want to call these rope laces um i don't know they they're like not even boot laces like they like laces that will come in like some sperries or some shit like that um kind of like just leather string laces um and the, then the laces that came in there um which i thought was a nice added touch they're wax laces and they also come with these little uh, Jumpman aglets, which I thought that was cool. They actually screw off and everything, kind of like the uh, Yeezy 2. Um, but yeah, man, so I had to go ahead and grab these. So shout out to the Pinnacle Collection and shout out to the Croc Pinnacles. I mean, I, I've, I just did a comparison on this. I'm not going to talk too long about this. It's a beautiful, beautiful sneaker. By the way, if you haven't checked out that comparison video... I would suggest you do. Um, as far as I know, the last time I checked, mine was the only one that was comparing um, the original 1991 joint uh, to this model. I, I haven't seen any other OG to retro comparisons, which uh, makes me feel kind of good, man. That's why they call me the OG King, man. There's not too many people with these out here um, that have the original joints as well, so... Beautiful sneaker, execution spot on, quality is there, looks great on foot, shape is there. Like I said, I just did a whole video on it that's 40 minutes long. Uh, for more on this sneaker, then go ahead and check that out. Uh, I rocked these one time, clean them up real nice. And this will be a sneaker that I wear quite often. Um, I actually have a second pair of these over here in the row with my all my uh, Jordan 6s. But I mean, I felt like, I, first of all, I was running out of room on the table, you know. Um, and second of all, it's like, you know, yeah, I got another pair that's dead stock, but you know, fuck it. I can just tell y'all, I know y'all believe me. So, uh, yeah, I actually picked up two pairs of these just because of what the maroon means to me. Um, and so I had to, I had to, um, I'm gonna say the best for last over here. So we're going to go next to this hologram phone posit, uh, which when I saw this phone posit initially, it was the Quai forty uh Quai fifty four, excuse me, I was about to say forty five. Uh Quai fifty four release, which was of course you know all the Quai sneakers are European only. Um it's a little basketball squad over there. Uh they had they have had several releases 
Um, just off the top of my head, the most popular one is the White 5, which had very nice tumble leather on it. That's the most popular quiet release. They've also got a Black 5, very limited, friends and family only. Not sure how many pairs on there, but I'm assuming 54. Um, they also had a Quai 9, which was like white, yellow, and black. They had a Quai 1, which was um, like all this color. Uh, basically, it was the same colorway. Uh, all blue with white and yellow, and I think it had a speckled midsole. And then um, they had the Quai 13s that came out recently. Uh, I know I'm forgetting something. They had a Quai Military Blue. So, you know, they, they've had some sneakers that dropped. And so um, the difference, though, is that along this side this uh, side panel here, the black suede, is a bunch of ingrained basketballs. And I think the back says Quad 54 or it's got some type of writing based on, you know, the whole Quad situation over there in, in Europe. But other than that, it's basically the same sneaker. And when I saw that it was coming out, I was extremely excited. This phone posit is so cold to me. And um, I had to get it. I'm very happy that I got it. I like the iridescent look. I like the way that when you turn it, it changes, you know, colors. Very similar to the uh, eggplant that dropped six, seven years ago, 2009. Soul is icy blue. Y'all know how that go. And I thought that the metal tips was a nice addition to it. I think when you wear these, it just kind of set it up because it got set it off. It's got that light gray accent. Um, definitely a sneaker I had to have. So, shout out to the Hologram Phones, man. Very, very nice sneaker. Can't wait to rock this and bust heads open. Last but not least. Now, as I was telling you before, I have been tools. And I ended up trading to get tan Yeezys. Now, <coughs> excuse me, before... I tell y'all exactly what was going on. I just want you to know. It wasn't because necessarily it was a Yeezy. Although that did have something to do with it. Because of course I knew it was going to be uh, one of those pieces of heat. That would do nothing but add to my collection. But I really, really liked the Tan 1. Like the Yeezy 1 for me is the best Yeezy hand down. Hands down. I know... That uh, Kanye is going crazy this year with Adidas. He's made a lot of sneakers. I personally am not a fan of the new ones. Um, and the Yeezy 2. Uh, I already know. You can leave it in the comments. The Yeezy 2 is the most horrible Nike design I've seen in a while. I think the Yeezy 2 looks terrible. Like, oh my God, that shoe is atrocious. Um, and if value wasn't into it, I would never... Never like if I had to keep to rock, I would never purchase that sneaker. Like them shit's terrible. Now, of course, trade bait because of the value and things like that. If I come across a pair for a good deal, I might do it. But Yeezy Twos are terrible. So the Tan One was just always that sneaker, and I actually rocked them recently, just because it was something that I had to do. Man, it's Yeezy season. I was going out filling raffles, and um, I had to throw the Tans on. Man, matter of fact, I'm gonna give you what I did, man. Just there you go right here. So you saw how I killed the tan ones. Um, you know, I, I just had to do it. I just thought it was a nice, you know, tan tee, tan sneakers, tan um vehicle. Uh, but the other sneaker I traded along with the Benz to get those because I always liked them. Um, and I liked them that much. Along with the Benz was my first pair of Lightning 4s. Um, I actually had another pair of Lightning 4s. Um, and I gave those up and the Ben 2s to get tans. Now, I know. Now, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But sneaker prices have been fluctuating so wild in the past couple years to where when I bought my pair of Lightnings, they were worn. I bought them for five fifty. At the time, I was seeing dead stock pairs popping up for 500 like three or four months after I bought my pair. So I was like, okay, well, maybe the lightning market is dropping. You know, maybe people are just not paying $1,000 no more for dead stock lightnings. So the bands was worth, they had OG none. The bands were worth about seven. The lightnings, I figured, was like five, 600. So that's 13, which 
the pair of tans I got are easily 9.5 out of 10. Very, very close to dead stock. I mean, very minimal heel drag and some dirt in the stars. But other than that, very, very near dead stock. And um, so I looked at that as a $1,400 to $1,500 sneaker. So the lightness being five to 600, the bands being 700, I felt like I was getting a better deal than I actually did because then lightness shot up again. Now I'm seeing people post dead stock pairs for 12, 1300. So I was like, damn, man, I, I way over traded to get that sneaker, but it is what it is. I love my tan ones. I let those go in a trade and I was so sick, but um, I had to get another pair, man. I had to get another pair. Um, these are not dead stock. I know in the video, they might look a little bit, well, a little bit of stainage there, but that ain't no big deal. Um, that was just from when I was holding it when my hand was wet. Um, but they are in excellent condition. Excellent, excellent, excellent condition. Actually got these off a of trade too. I mean, I had to add cash, but you know. So yeah, man, no cracking or paint chipping, anything like that. These lightnings are in very, very, very nice condition. Um, and so I'm so happy to yet again be the owner of some very nice lightning fours. You know? So shout out to Dave getting lightnings back. So this has been the cops that I picked up in October. November and December. Um, let me see if I can remember the order in which I got these shoes. Okay, so these came out in November, didn't they? Yes. Yes, those came out in November. These I traded for. I can't remember whether I traded in October. No. I traded at the beginning of December. I traded at the beginning of December for these. So, um, did I keep anything from October? No, I didn't. Let me see. October, the ladies came out first weekend. Then then the UNCs. Didn't keep the UNCs. Because I got too many Carolina Blue Kicks. Um, I don't remember what came out that next weekend. But then the 3 p eights came out. And then something else came out for Halloween. I don't know. But anyway, so not nothing in October. All of this stuff is November and December. So um, November, this was the first release of November. That was November 7th. Cop those. Um, cop the Doran Becker 13s. And Nike was on some bullshit, man. Nike in, in Atlanta was on some bullshit. So I had to kind of finagle my way to get them. But I got them. So um, first was the CP3s. Next was the 13s. I actually bought these the same day the Doran Becker 13s came out. So got those next. Um, then, of course, you got uh, Black Friday, which gave us uh, these. Oh, no, those were supposed to come out on Black Friday, but they got swapped. They got, uh, they got swapped. So um, these came out the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Then it was Thanksgiving, and these came out two days later. Um, and then I traded for these that next weekend. Uh, and then I got those the next weekend. Then of course I got those 72 and 10. And then I just got these two days ago on New Year's Eve, another pair of lightness. So that is the OG Kings fourth quarter cops. Um, like I said, pre-orders, I mean, I'm pre-ordering everything. If you need something, just holler at me. I'm going to give you the number right now. What is it? Okay, bam. 678-830-6690. Um, of course, follow me on Instagram. I'm over 1,900 followers, and I really appreciate that support. Instagram is the best way to stay up on all my pre-orders and also things that I'm just selling. I just have up for sale. Um, so that's going to be a, a great way to uh, stay up on all that. And my Instagram is at 
D T R O Y T underscore D A V E. Real simple. That's how you stay up on everything. So um hit my hit my phone for pre-orders. Uh, of course, you got the Radio Raheem's coming out this coming weekend. So if you need those, holla at me. Um, and everything else coming out this year. Um, like I said, you saw the intro. You see that I pretty much win every time. So, you know, rock with me on that. Got a couple of things up for sale. Um, I got uh, white cement fours. I wore them one time, and you know how I rock my shit. So, I mean, these are worn one time. So, you see how I keep my sneakers. These are worn one time. See what I'm saying? So, you see how I do it. So, the cements are worn one time. Um, I definitely got those for sale. I'm just going to go ahead, since I got these out right now, I'm just going to open this box up real quick. Original box, I got the receipt as well. These are dead stock, size 11. DS, um, and I'm looking for 220 shipped on these, 200 local, if you're watching this video and you live in Atlanta or the surrounding areas, 200 local on those, um, so that's pretty much what I got for sale right now, man, those infrared, those infrareds, um, and, and the white cement fours, is pretty much it right now, um, shout out to all the participants, Beautiful sneaker right here. So glad to have it. Like I said, a new video every weekend in January. I've got a special bonus video coming for you at the end of January because there is an anniversary coming up at the end of January. And um, I am very, very excited to dedicate a full video to just this one release. So it's coming up. At the end of January, like I said, a new video every weekend in January. This is the first one for the first weekend of January. This is fourth quarter cops. You got top 15 pickups of 2015 coming next weekend. You got top 15 releases of 2015 coming the following weekend. And then you got more heat at the end of the month. I really appreciate all the support. You know my telephone number. You know my IG. You know what I got for sale. If you need something, please holler at me. I would love to assist you in acquiring any sneaker that you need. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I come in when the beat drop. Spit Try that down. type of shit that make your fucking heart beat stop. Killing niggas dead, throw them in my meat shop. Smoking on that shit that keep me higher than a treetop. You fucking with me? Stop. You will never see my level, cause you low as the base. I'm higher than your speaker's treble. Let that sink in, and now that you got it, just play your fucking position and get back in pocket. I'm on my prime time grind, hustling bitches flocking. But since you a hustle hater, I know you go knock it. But it's all good though, cause why you niggas is hustle knocking your bitch and her girlfriends, the main hoes jockin'. I do this for profit, but I got love for lyrics. But some niggas do it cause they got drugs for dealing. And that's cool sometimes if you got that club feeling. But I spit that shit that you gotta feel, and that's a bug hearing. See, I got metaphors, and I spit them hot lines. Making niggas pump, they brakes quicker than stop signs. Just like the chick on the track say, I'm on fire. My words spin niggas with the heat. My own dryer, niggas jumping at my.